Let me talk about working out every single day. I'm kind of one of these people that like to do the same thing every single day. So I'll, I, I basically jog a mile, like a little bit under 10 minutes, and then I lift weights for you know, somewhere between you know, 20, 25 minutes, sometimes, something like that. I don't go full throttle on lifting weights and whatnot. I lift, I don't lift my max. Um, I, I, I may lift my max like you know, once every other month or something like that. I, I, and that way I can work out every single day. So if I do pull-ups or I work on my triceps, work on my biceps, work on my shoulders, I can do all that work every single day because I don't get hurt because I'm not lifting my max. So let's do the math. Let's say that you do 10 pull-ups at whatever weight, you know, pull-ups pull and you're just, ah, oh, you can't do any more. So for the next four days, you're just so sore you can't do any pull-ups at all. But let's say you do four pull-ups for seven days. That's way more than 10 pull-ups, right, if you, if you average that over the whole week. So that's my mindset, and, and some other folks uh, have, have said the same thing. That's always been my philosophy. If I, you work out every day, you're going to stay strong every single day. Some say, well, you got to let your muscles rest up, and you got to push your muscles, and then they, they got to heal up, and then you do these certain areas. And I'm just thinking, you know, back in the day when there was no gyms, people went out there and had to go, you know, chase down animals and find their food and, 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 and travel long distances and they didn't have it, they couldn't take a day off because if they didn't took a day off, they wouldn't eat. So that's my mindset that they worked out every single day to go out there and, and get food and shelter and those type of things. And so uh, our bodies are meant to move and you know, especially now some of the studies that come out that you know, standing standing's more important than you know, even exercising in some aspects because when you sit down or lie down, you're not, you're not getting any you know, benefits. So as you stand and you move and whatnot, that's what's important. So that's my mindset is that you know, work out every day. Just don't push yourself hard every single day. Is it better to run a 10 minute mile seven days a week, that's seven miles a week, or you, you, you push yourself and you get that five miles down and, you're, and, you're, and you got like a nine minute mile average on that and you can't even walk for the next five days. And so now you ran five miles in, in the span of, you know, that you could have done seven miles and, 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 and you didn't do any other work. So that, it, to me, it doesn't make, it doesn't make, never made sense to me. Work out every single day. Don't worry about pushing yourself to the limit. If you want to run your marathons and things like that, that's cool. That's a different kind. You're more of an athlete at that point there. If you're just trying to stay in good shape, have good cardio, have good muscles, uh, that type of thing, I suggest working out every single day. As always, rock and roll, and of course, it does compete. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Herb Midgley. I am the internet legend. The most unique content anywhere in the universe, right here on this channel. And of course, it does compute.